Nerd. Mm. <laughs> ah, that was something. Yeah, Simple. In, in the spirit of moo and oink, we just yeah. thought that's what we would do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Yeah. Sure. All right. <laughs> Let's get right to it. Number nine, it looks like a submarine with a giant glass eye in the center. This is a super yacht. It's from a company in India called Bhushan Power Design. The glass eye is actually a dome. The yacht is a glass bottom pool and a glass elevator that travels from deck to deck. There are 10 deluxe staterooms, a primary suite. The lower deck is made up of a beach club area with a gym and a garden. Mm. There's also a helipad, an enclosed lounge where guests can enjoy the view in all kinds of weather. 500 to 600 million. Wow. Wow, it's a deal. Bargain. All right, number eight. It's a question a lot of people have been asking. Where the heck is Jennifer Capriati now? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Right, she burst onto the tennis scene in uh, 1990 when she was just 14 years old. And by 1992, she won Olympic gold in Barcelona by beating Steffi Graf in the final. But the story uh, gets sad oh, from no. there. In 1993, Capriati was arrested for drugs and had bouts of depression. She came back to compete years later and ended up number one for a while in 2001, but she retired in 2004 with three Grand Slam titles to her name. She now lives in Florida and stays off social media, living a quiet, private life. Huh. Well, good for her. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You don't want to... It's... it's, a, you know, it's too quick out of the gate, is that yeah. what you always pace say? Yourself. That's yeah. right, yeah, pace peak yourself. Too early. And, I mean, we're still uh, waiting for a yeah. peak yeah. here. I'm still yeah. on my way up. I got <laughs> still going. Yeah. Number yeah. seven, here's a twist on those unboxing videos you might have uh, come across on YouTube, where people show off some clothes or sneakers. Some people are now into mail order mystery boxes Ooh. that might have, say, seven live tarantulas oh, inside. No, thank you. Yes, you can buy yourself a present of mystery spiders. The journal Communications Biology analyzed the trend and found 1,200 species of spiders, scorpions, and other arachnids turned up in online sales. Collectors like the thrill of not knowing what spider they'll get. Most of these are actually captured in the wild and then sold as opposed to being bred for selling. Oh, that's fair. The trade of spiders is almost completely unregulated. What? After a simple <laughs> Google search, Come on. we found Crazy a site on all sorts of spiders. That's yeah. Probably because nobody thought, hey, maybe somebody's going to be selling spiders on right. the internet. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to call my alderman on this one. Yeah. yeah. See if they can pass some kind of legislation. That's, that's what that's needs ridiculous. to be done. Good Lord. All right, number six, there's a chance you've heard about mud water or yeah. green mm. powder drinks. They're all over the TikTok and the Instagram, and they claim to be filled with all sorts of wellness supplements. Uh, these things are uh, coffee alternatives made from mushroom-based ingredients and other stuff. Nutrition experts say there's nothing wrong with drinking these things, but if you really want to get the nutrients, they point out you can just as easily eat the real food at any supermarket. <laughs> it seems like common sense, but the you'd yeah. be surprised. Mm. So, instead yeah. of celery juice, you just go buy a piece of celery. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, number five, people have strong feelings about pizza, but if you've ever had good Detroit pizza, you have to admit it's pretty great. It's like a Chicago pan pizza, uh, kind of like New York Sicilian pizza, but it's his own thing. I don't know what New York Sicilian pizza is. Do you know, Patrick? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... Does it look like this? It's a little thicker. Okay. Thicker and doughier. Anyway, this started, like a lot of things, with immigrants. A lot of Italian men immigrated to Detroit to work in the auto factories in the 40s, and their wives were trying to duplicate the focaccia that they made back in Italy. And at the time, blue steel utility trays were everywhere in Detroit because they were used on the assembly line. And that's when women started putting the dough in those pans, and thus the birth of the pan pizza Detroit mm. style. A place called Buddy's was one of the first to sell it. Only recently did they stop making those utility pans, but you can buy one at DetroitStylePizza.com. Oh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, number four in this next clip, there is a uh, real strong guy setting up an impressive mm -hmm. feat in the gym. But keep your eye on the right side of the picture. Years old. Oh no, I'm just oh, worried about this guy falling. 
Oh, it's so tacky. Ah. <laughs> that is He's great. got a nice shot. Uh -huh. What nice about his that. business? That's not amazing to him at all, what's going <laughs> yeah. on behind him. Number three, everyone recognizes this. It's the torch lady who was on the logo for Columbia Pictures. This has basically looked the same since 1924, but in 1991, Columbia wanted to update the logo, which is a painting, so they hired photographer Kathy Anderson to take the photos that painter Michael Deese would use to create the updated logo. Michael asked Kathy's co-worker to be the model. Jenny said sure, and she then spent the day in New Orleans at the apartment of photographer Anderson. They got great shots, then Michael painted uh, to create the new logo. They've changed some of the shadowing and colors since the early 90s, but that's still the logo today. It looks kind of the same. Yeah, yeah it looks not, the not same. Not too dramatically no. different. I, don't know why I thought they were going to go with the seated picture. That would have yeah. been... She's been standing for a long time. Yeah, yeah. 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 dramatic change. Can you imagine posing for one of those, and you have yeah. to hold your arm up all that, that time? time. Yeah, it's a lot well, of work being a lot model. Of People work. think it's That's easy. That's why it's hard to be a model. Thank you. Yeah. All right, number two, here's something fun. Extreme pogo sticks. Ooh. These guys are from the ex-pogo stunt team. They do hundreds of live events every year and love to spread the love of extreme pogo sticking. You can check it out at xpogo.com. Robin, you've been looking for something else to do Ow. outside, right? This could be, yeah, could be a second year. Your name for written you all years. over it. These were big in the 70s, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, I like, remember my neighbors, the Tegmeyers, had one, and I never really oh, was too good at yeah. it. Renowned Pogos. Yeah. yeah. The Tegmeyers, sure. The Tegmeyers yeah. were really good at it. Yeah. But, you know, when you have the equipment all the time, right. you get better yeah, right. access to it. Yeah. I would just borrow it every now and well, then. I'll buy you one. You want one? I'll buy you one. And I think that ship might have sailed. Whee! Yeah. But don't lose your whimsy just because you're in your right. 60s. Look at that. <laughs> Ping pong and quicksand, big in the 70s. Yes. Both of them kind of disappeared. Thank you. I was terrified of quicksand yeah. growing yeah. up. Don't even get her going on the ping pong. Oh. My heart's so bad. Yeah. That'd be fun, Robin, Ow. jumping out of a tree. No. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what? Double. Oh, that was wow. the old whip. Wow. Right. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, you land the wrong way, and you're in big sure, trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you tell me. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This could be you. Whee! Mm. Maybe one day. Mm -hmm. All right. Number one, uh, here's an old-timey educational video from 1947 called, Are You Popular? Popularity. What is it made of? How does a person get to be popular with lots of people and have a few close friends, too? Let's watch and see what makes people oh, like okay. one person and not another. Hey, Jerry, there's that new girl in our math class. Oh, yes. Her name's Carolyn Ames. She's a swell kid. Why? Do you know her? Not very well. I wish I did. I don't know what it is, but there's something about her you like. Oh. Well, she always looks nice to start with. Yep. Yeah, especially when you compare her with some of the weird characters in this place. Mm -hmm. yoo -hoo! Jenny thinks that she has the key to popularity, parking in cars with the boys at night. Oh, uh, no. Jerry oh, that'll that'll about make it taking popular. Jenny out. He learns that she dates all the boys. Oh, boy. And he feels less important. What about Jenny? Does that make her really popular? Do the boys and girls like her? Is she welcome to join this group? Hi, Betty, Ellie. You can rest your tray here, Jenny. Nobody <laughs> likes a harlot. Molly, <laughs> how's the play coming along? Huh. Oh, okay, Jenny. Here, Jenny. No, Thanks, girls Jerry. who park in cars are not really <laughs> <laughs> Not even with the boys they park with. Not when they meet at school what? or she, elsewhere. She couldn't even sit down with them? Well, it's a crowded <laughs> table. Like it was full. popularity. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. boy. Meow, meow. Okay, Ellie. Popular. Wow. <laughs> that was, boy, that's not the way I remembered high school. <laughs> She's a swell girl, see? Oh, that's huh. the 99.